a YouTube prepared wander out in the woods today and I'm going to be looking at convex knives versus Scandi grind knives. This is uh, an argument that rages on on internet forums everywhere and in particular it's always really confusing I think for new people who are getting into bushcraft and getting into the outdoors and want to decide what kind of knife they should get and what's the best kind and you know by far the Scandi grind is probably the most prevalent blade on the market today. Um, almost every manufacturer seems to make some type of Scandi blade, or if they haven't in the past, they're starting to. Even Tops is coming out with a Scandi knife. Um, of course, Scandinavian grind knives are very popular um, in Europe. Uh, Mora, you know, did a lot to bring that to to the world, and it's very popular because they're inexpensive they're razor sharp and they're good quality knives uh, but there are all of course lots of other knives out there and brands but what i really wanted to look at in particular is convex versus scandi and what that means when uh, processing wood um, and i'm really doing this for my own education because uh, for a long time i've been using scandi blades pretty exclusively um, and I've had all kinds, uh, LT Wright, Adventure Sworn, uh, AA Forge, all great knives, and of course Mora's, um, all great knives that do very well. Um, but I haven't owned a lot of convex blades. Uh, one of the only convex blades that I, I own um, is a tracker, the Topps tracker, and that's been convexed by, um, by the previous owner. So that blade is doesn't even come that way from the manufacturer it was it was you know uh, a modification and uh, that modification really makes that knife excel it's it, it's such a, a great blade and does a wonderful job of making feather sticks and curls and uh, carving things so uh, recently i picked up a jeff white um, bush knife um, been a big fan of Jeff White's stuff for a long time. Uh, when I first started getting into bushcraft, I bought a few of his knives, not really knowing what I was doing or what I was getting into, but I always really appreciated the quality of those. So I'm going back to Jeff White now because I think he really makes a solid, um, uh, no-nonsense, almost inexpensive blade compared to what's out on the market, but it's, it's still quality. It's 1095 steel, high carbon steel, and razor sharp convex grind on his knives. So I'm going to compare one of his knives to a few of the Scandies that I own and we're going to see kind of what the differences are. So stay tuned. All right, so here are our competitors for today. We have a Mora Cans Bowl. I've done a review video on this. We have the Jakari Puka 110. I've done a review on that. And then here's the Jeff White uh, Bush HD, or no, excuse me, not the Bush HD. This is just the Bush knife. There's another model. It's a little bit beefier than this one. That's called the HD. This is just the standard. So these are the three knives I'm going to play with today. Of course, the two uh, Puko styles are Scandinavian, and this is convex. And, you know, I want to make it clear um, from the get-go that this video is not to tell anybody that what is the best and what they should be getting or using. This is merely an experiment for my own education to put two knives uh, head to head and see how they do with different tasks and how they feel and to try to communicate that to you guys so while you're watching this you can be a little bit more educated on your own. Um, I encourage you to go out on the web and look up uh, the differences between convex and scandi and what that means. I am not going to try and uh, explain the scientific or engineering differences of the knives or what those grinds mean. I'm, I'm not a bladesmith and I'm not probably the best person to talk about that, but I think your own education is well worth it. So uh, for today's experiment, we have this um, very seasoned piece of uh, maple that's been split down and I think the first thing that uh, I would do with any knife uh, to test grind is just to see how it curls and that's really probably one of the most important tasks that I would do anyway so get our knives put away here safely and let the games begin 
So the first knife is the Jeff White Bush knife. Very nice convex blade. You can see that mirror finish on that puppy. You know, so this is really isn't going to be a review of uh, either of these, all these knives. It's, uh, I'm not going to go into depth about how they, how comfortable they are, what they feel like, um, because I've done other videos on that, talking about the specifics of the knife. Really, this is all about the grind and how that performs with uh, wood processing. Convex is doing a nice job of getting nice pile shavings. There's definitely some nice little curls on here and some thicker ones. Let's try the Jakari Puko, which is a Scandi but also has a little bit of a secondary bevel to it. Just to make the that Scandi a little tougher not chip out so easily. I'm going to try it on the same piece of wood that I was doing the other knife with just to see. There we go. Wood's a little wet at the top from being in the rain, but for the most part this inner stuff's all dry. Try the uh, Cans Bowl Standard Mora. Very popular knife. Very capable blade. Find a good edge to work off of here. There we go. Really not getting the greatest um, shavings off of this.
definitely the the blade thickness and the weight of the blade of the knife has a little bit to do with um, some of the control you know this technique where I'm not bracing the piece of wood against the log and I'm I'm doing a quick feather the more does a really nice job because it's so lightweight and get nice lots of nice curls that way There's the Jakari Puko. Making pretty nice fine shavings actually. Alright, let's try that with the uh, convex. It is digging in really deep. Let me try another piece of wood. Start fresh and give it a chance here. It's just really, every push of that blade, it's just digging in deeper. Like I, just, I don't feel like I have the fine control that I do with my Scandies. I don't know, the, the test um, was not what I expected. I was really expecting the convex to do a much better job of working on that hard seasoned wood. Um, it, but it just it dug in really deep. And it was much harder to control than the Scandi. The Scandi would uh, glide over the edge of the wood where this, the convex, would dig in and try to cut deeper. So. On the green stick uh, tryout, I think they both did pretty equally well. I mean, a green stick really shouldn't give either knife much trouble, but the hard seasoned wood for the convex was not, uh, I mean, it wasn't bad, obviously. And it, I think maybe with more practice, maybe because I've been using Scandies for a while now, for the past year or two, um, I've gotten really used to them. So maybe a little more practice with this convex is going to give me a better result. But for the hardwood, the Scandi did just fine. And I, maybe it is just a better woodworking grind. I don't know. That's, I'm sure that's up for debate and everybody's going to have an opinion. Um, but from just what I've done, and I think you can see in the video that, that in some cases that Scandi did a really nice job of just doing really nice quick shavings, uh, small shavings, thin, whereas the convex were a little bit thicker. Um, they were a little bit harder to get off of the branch, uh, off the wood. Um, I don't know. So I think it's definitely worth testing more. What I'd like to do is I need to find some softwood around here, maybe some pine. 
uh, and just try that and see the differences. Um, I think the Scandi will probably do really well with that as well anyway. because. All right, guys, this is it for today. Thanks for joining along on this journey, and uh, we'll see you next time on the Prepared Wanderer. And now I have to get out of here. Thank you.